Okay, you know we have this dress like the kids, okay? Yeah. Why? Girl, they were, I don't know if I'm even using the word right, like flaming me because like they approved of the Crocs. Um, hi, I think, I don't know if this is, this is the Tracy that I heard you mention from high school before. No, this is um from my subclass, Tracy, from my subclass. Oh, okay. Well, hi. Nonetheless, don't want to ignore you. <laughs> like, I just... Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I don't... I'm not liking this lighting. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I'm all, like, particular. Um, but no, like, so I had on a flannel um, top. Um with it and uh and they were like uh one uh, one girl was like um but who told you to wear that flannel you know shirt your friend because <laughs> i was telling them about you I was like, what <laughs> let them know that your friend is has great taste in clothing and like their generation <laughs> like it was hilarious i was like oh my god wait till i tell her Y'all are ridiculous. Like, did you tell really? them what I said about those cracks? Uh, well, I mean, I I told them that it's like I ain't really like them. <laughs> I only said that because she mentioned your friend. What'd you tell them about me? Oh no, cause I what did I say? I said yeah, I was talking to one of my friends about these cracks, and and we were agreeing how we didn't like them. You know. <laughs> Girl, it just, it was funny. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to be, I'm going to just have to be okay with what it is right here. Where, where is my battery percentage? Where is your, where is your ring light? Is it behind the lens? Um, yes, I just turned it off though. Oh. I just turned it off because I felt like it was too much down here. I'm downstairs and not upstairs. But why don't I see you? You should. I see you. Do you see me? Well, now I don't. Okay, now I do. Okay, why isn't it letting me see you though? I wonder if you have to go out and go in. It could just be like IG tripping. Okay, let me go out. Thank you guys for joining in to our live with Jamia Lewis, who is going to be a featured panelist for our upcoming Girl Talk. If you haven't gotten your ticket yet, tickets are $5 online at Eventbrite. Our upcom upcoming topic is dealing with grief at the holidays. If you wait and to get your ticket at the uh, actual event, you will be paying $5 extra. So $5 at Eventbrite, $10 at the door. If you know someone who needs this topic, if you know someone who's dealing with grief at the holidays, pass on this information. <clears throat> I cannot. I cannot. It's weird. I wonder if you need an update. <laughs> oh, I probably do. They were asking me to delete some stuff. All right. Well, we'll just be uh, 10 minutes. So thank you for joining Jamia Lewis, who is the founder and owner of the Thanksgivers podcast. And she will be a featured panelist for our upcoming Girl Talk. So, Jamia, why don't you tell us a little bit more about who you are, what you're doing, and why this topic interests you? All right. Well, hello, everyone. Um, thanks to those that are watching now or will watch later. Uh, my name is Jamia Lewis, and um, and you said the question was, like, tell about me and why this topic is of a, importance to me. Yep. Is that okay? So, um so a little bit about me. Um, I have my hand in um, uh, an interest in many different fields. Um, I'm an educator. I've been in the classroom um, for 17 years now, and um, I'm very passionate about um, learning and um, just being an instrument, just being a, a, a tool, um, a resource for others. Um, to be able to learn about a variety of topics, um, whether that's um, things that might be faith-based or things that might um, be a part of um, social causes or interests or um, just political, um, uh, what do I want to say it, um, just knowing how to leverage your um, 
your your power politically, you know, um, just at the local and uh, state levels of government. Um, I love the arts. I'm a big time creative and um, uh, so involved in a lot of different things as far as that's concerned. And um, I love my family deeply and um, and been friends with Nicole for many. And um, and I guess as far as like what um, like why I care about this topic, like I wish that I I I didn't have experience with this topic. I don't necessarily wanna um, wanna even really talk about it. But for me, um, being able to um, being able to verbally process kind of what I'm feeling um, in regards to various you know, things that, that pull on you emotionally um, has been very helpful for me and just in my own uh, situations dealing with grief. And and so, you know, unfortunately, you know, haven't had the experience of um, losing loved ones before. Um, you know, you walk through those steps of like, what is this this new world like um, without them, um, particularly at the holidays. And and so it's something that I've come to realize that a lot of people carry grief. And um, and a lot of times we don't necessarily know. You were saying some mm -hmm. good things. So you were saying that, unfortunately, you've had this experience of grief and realizing mm -hmm. other people about the holidays. And one of the things I love that you said was it's navigating this world without that person. Like I never thought of it that way. I love that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Seth, thank you for joining in. Hey, Seth. <laughs> so anything else before that you were probably saying when I got cut off? Girl, I don't know. Now you know. <laughs> You know, I lose my train of thought. Um, I think just to kind of sum it up, like, because I'm not sure, like, how you'll piece together um, the videos. But just again, real quick, my name is Jamia Lewis. Um, I'm an educator and uh, been in the classroom um, about 17 years now. And um, <clears throat> And so very passionate about education, um, social issues as well. Yes, yes. Black alumni represent. Um, <laughs> um, so, um, yeah. So, like, I wish that, that this wasn't a topic that I was familiar with um, because to be familiar with it, you know, is to know pain. Um, it's to know what navigating life without, without, your people looks like um and when i say your people i just mean your loved ones um people that you're close to um on whatever level you know that can be in a lot of different ways and so having been in um in this position hey murmur um that's my cousin um that joined in so um being in this position you know it's kind of like learning how to um what does that look like? What does moving through these important moments and, um, you know, uh, you know, where there's traditions and, and all this other stuff, um, what does that look like? So. Thank you for sharing. Now, mm -hmm. you just released your new podcast. Can you give us some yes. more information about that? I can. Um, so my podcast has been years in the making. It's called the Thanksgivers Podcast. And um, to get a little bit of, to get, you know, more details on the background, you have to listen to episode one, um, where I kind of give some of that background for it. But um, <clears throat> essentially, um, the podcast, this, for the first season of it, um, the theme is gratitude and grief. And um I was going in a different direction with it first, and then um, a few years back, um, uh, my family experienced, thank you, thank you, Seth, uh, my family experienced um, a significant loss, and um, and so I just was stuck, and so I was actually supposed to be done with the podcast um, as far as uh, releasing it. Um, like over a year ago, um, even over two years ago. But once that happened, um, I had to figure out how to how to be able to move forward. And um, and so so what I did was I interviewed guests um, and all of whom I know. 
um, with uh, and have known for varying lengths of time, but all people close to me, um, and talk to them about their experiences with grief. And um, and the season ends with me sharing my own experience with grief. And it's um, as as all this time has passed since I was supposed to have um, you know finished the season, um, there's been even more things that have taken place. You know, other losses that have been experienced um, that have just kind of added to um, you know the 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 topic for me um so it's been a um a really i i don't know um a really tender experience i would say being trusted with other people's stories particularly because um i know the women that i that i interviewed um so just remembering what those moments were like for them having witnessed them in in real time and then also just considering um what my own walking through those things has looked like so well you heard it here first the thanksgivers podcast <laughs> released jamia lewis will be a featured panelist at girl talk this sunday december 17th from six to eight five dollars at the door no five dollars online ten dollars at the door make sure you tap in if you know someone that's in need of this topic clearly we have people who have walked through this who can help guide you we're gonna have some resources some counselors experts in this field um jamia is definitely one of them so i'm looking forward to partnering with her and it's going to be a safe space for all of us a fellowship that's what girl talk is about so it's female leaders coming together and finding hope, encouragement, strength in sisterhood. And I'm blessed that Jamia has been a sister for 20 years and has taught me the value of sisterhood. So thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and we will see you guys on Sunday. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>